Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FIFA 23. I'm putting together my second team for the Europa League and Cup games and things like that, and I'm just starting to realise we are definitely missing one or two players. So I think in this episode as well, I'm going to be talking about maybe a couple of players I will be looking at in January or at the start of next season to bring in and reinforce the squad. For example, if you look in midfield, whilst I've been able to change all three, we have El Elneny as our main DM. Um, <laughs> it's it's not ideal, is it? I'm a big fan of El Elneny. He gets the job done, but for a career mode at least, we definitely need to invest in someone that can play there. Cedric at right back. I mean, I could go with Ben White, but then I don't have another centre back available. So maybe that's an area we need to look into. Maybe a future right back or maybe we use one of the Youth Academy players that we eventually find. I, I don't know. Um, as well, I mean, Marquinhos, he's such a fresh signing. We don't know how good he's going to be. But, um, you know, another winger, I think, at some point. I mean, I love Smith Rowe, but to me, he's definitely better through the middle. So, you know, we are we are missing a couple of players here and there. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. We're going to play our first game, which is against PSV in the Europa League. This is the team we're going to use. And of course, Vieira will be starting this one. And you could say he's been the man in form so far in this career mode. To be fair, PSV have a couple of players I will be keeping my eyes on. One of them being Gakpo, Cody Gakpo. He could be a phenomenal signing for us. I don't know where he's going to end up in real life. There's no doubt in my mind he's, he's going to move to the Premier League soon. I've got a feeling it might be Manchester United, you know. I know Arsenal were looking at him. So I think we will definitely add him to the shortlist. But here we are at the Emirates for our first European game of the season. It's been a while that we've been in Europe. Obviously, we want Champions League football. That's where we want to be. But for now, we just do as best as we can in the Europa League. We're going to try and win it this season. And that will guarantee us a place in the Champions League next season, which is the ultimate goal. Already under a bit of pressure here. De Jong is through. Wow. Matt Turner making his first start for the Mighty Gunners. And he's had to pull off a big save there. It will be a corner coming in. And it's going to be Gutierrez to take it. De Jong's there. Oh my God, it's off the line. Wow, this has been a nervy start. And Ketia, that's a foul. No way has he got away with that. How was that not a foul? I don't know. We've got Fabio Vieira in Erdegaard's position, picking up a bit of space. Oh, what a ball. Marquinhos, 1-0. Is he onside though? He is! The Europa League is going to be his competition and that that's a really tidy finish. Okay, we're in again here. Nketiah with a bit of space out wide. I'm going to have to play this back, I think. Here's Vieira again. I'm going to give it to Nketiah. He's not really in the position I want him in, so I'm just going to give this back to Cedric now. Over to Lukonga. Tierney. Over the top for Smithrow, maybe. Okay, it hasn't quite worked out. We should be able to get this back. And just recycle the ball. Really well played there. Vieira again. Everything seems to be going through him at the moment. El Nenny. Back to Vieira. Trying to find an opening. Oh, and after all of that. Okay, that is a hell of a pass from Gakpo. Holding needs to do well against De Jong here. I mean, he has done well. He's, he's pulled them back a bit. But that is... Wow. Gakpo just split my defence. And what a goal. It's, it's very clear to me that PSV have been the better side so far. They deserve this goal. And it's Veerman with his left foot. I think Ben White could have got a little bit tighter there. Okay, right. Yeah, this has definitely been a better half for PSV so far. Let's play this over on the left side. Back to Vieira. Dink one in the box. Marquinhos is there. Do you know what? That was not a bad header. Not bad at all. We're 30 minutes in. Still time to obviously get another goal before the break. Oh, look at that from Cedric. Beautiful. Vieira over to Smithrow. Scores. That is what we needed. Instant reply almost. And we are back in the lead here. Look at that pace. That is it's broken, guys. I can't stop them. No, no, no. <laughs> There's something about this new FIFA 23 game and the sprinting. Players do not get up to full speed quickly enough. So if someone is running at you at full speed and you have to, you know, shift your momentum in a different direction and start sprinting, they're gone. 
and it'll be too late. Oh my god, and that's the new power shot. Which, by the way, I should say, normally if you do a power shot now, the new power shot, the camera zooms in a bit. I've disabled that because I thought it, it broke the realism, the immersion, but this is the new power shot. <sighs> I'm going to concede a lot of goals like that. But hey, guys, this is exciting for you. Four goals already, and it's not even half time. Look at that. What is that? Okay, this is... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling here. Gakpo is a problem. He looks good, guys. He looks very, very good. We're going to have to add him to the transfer list. Not the transfer list, the short list to, to buy him and... We'll scout him, get all the stats, because, man, he looks good. So do PSV, to be fair. They've got Sanger in midfield as well. Big fan of him. But um, that's half-time. It's an entertaining game, but I don't feel comfortable at all. I I'm fine on the attack. I feel like I'm making good chances, but defensively, I'm all over the place. And I know this is going to sound really bad, but playing players like El Elneny and Cedric that have no real future for me in this career mode just makes me feel like I'm kind of wasting an opportunity for uh, another player. I don't know. That is a horrendous tackle on El Nenny. It's a red card. <laughs> it's a straight red for De Jong, who's been very good for them. Holding's not happy. That is a shocking tackle. I think El Nenny's actually injured. Why was he holding his arm or whatever there? I guess he's okay. We're going to pass this to El Nenny because I just wanted to check. He is absolutely fine. Okay, Smith Rowe. See, look. When I sprint, they can't get to me either. That's too easy. Oh, okay. The cross was <laughs> bad. Nice bit of play inside to Sambi. Into Smith Rowe. See, when I get sprinting, it's the same thing. They struggle to keep up. Marquinhos, that's unlucky. I think, I think I've, I've understood the problem here. It's not really sprint speed. It's acceleration. It feels like if you've got good acceleration, you, you're just gone. Which I guess you could say is realistic. Really quick players off the mark do just get away. But it makes it very difficult to defend. Oh, oh, win the header. Please win that. Yes. And Ketia. Oh, that's bad. Okay, right. We're 60 minutes in. I'm going to change it. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Let's, um, let's throw in Zinchenko as the DM. I'm also going to bring in, I think, Saka for Marquinhos. And, oh, this is a tricky decision. I think Xhaka. Yeah, let's put in Xhaka. Shall I put him... Oh, do I go with Zinchenko as the DM or Xhaka as the DM? I think Zinchenko. He is going to be very good there. I think, actually, he's probably better at DM than left back. But, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to commit to that yet. I want to try more things out first. Madaweke now. What a player. If you know, you know. Yeah, he's just... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> How do you keep up with that? He's so quick. We're losing 3-2 now. And it was just simple. Just run past. Look at that pace. Holding at full sprint speed. Can't get close. Turner. No chance. Okay, guys. I'm probably not going to win this game now, which is a real shame. I started pretty poorly, but then really worked into the game and was doing a lot better. But since then, I've just not been able to do enough. Okay, that's good, though. Can we get a goal back here? Smith Rowe. What? He's an imposter. That's not Smith Rowe. Oh, it isn't. Look at his face. But what? <laughs> okay, just, just to experiment, because it's a brand new game, I need to know where I aimed that. Is it going to show me the arrow? There we go. See? I have aimed that perfectly into the top right corner. And the game did that. Absolutely shocking. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to win the game if that happens. Time to bring on Jesus. And Ketia hasn't really offered enough today. I've just remembered they're down to 10 men as well. That's even more embarrassing. Uh, Martinelli on as well. Two Brazilians coming on. Can they help us try and get an equaliser and a winner maybe? Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We've got 13 minutes. It's not looking great, is it? Oh, what a ball from Xhaka, though. Jesus straight away involved. Okay, the goalkeepers actually suck in this game. <laughs> 
How is that going in? First of all, I wanted him to hit it with his right foot, but he's gone with his left. I, I tried to shimmy it across onto his right, but who cares? The shot go, goes off, and the keeper... I mean, he's right there. He has to save this. Let's have a look at the replay. I'm fairly certain the referee's just had a... Uh, the referee... The goalkeeper's just had a howler there. He has. It's... It's really, really not very good, but Jesus has made the difference so far. We've got 10 minutes, including injury time, to try and get a fourth goal here and actually win this game, which, to be fair, isn't very fair. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not. I think PSV deserve to get the win. But here we go. Granit Xhaka has helped. Jesus back to Xhaka again. Try and get around with his 47 pace. The ball goes in, and it is... A fourth goal, and it's Jesus again. <laughs> this game is mental. It is actually mental, this new FIFA. I mean, I, I can't say I'm not having fun. It is fun. There's so many little things that are going to need tweaking, though. I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's a bit rough around the edges, but I'm really happy we've been able to get a potential winner here. What a cross from Granite Xhaka. The header was on target. It was pushed into the post. Unlucky. PSV deserve something out of this game, but hey, look, I'm not going to complain. This is what I would call a tactical master... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> tactical masterclass, I was about to say, and Gakpo's just equalised. These cutscenes are amazing, though, aren't they? <laughs> um... Well, I did say they deserved something, but once again, guys, once they get in behind, it's just impossible. Gakpo gets his goal. I don't think I'm going to have time, am I, to, to get forward here? Come on, Jesus, go. Oh, no way. No way. Go on, Sanger. Too good. Too composed. Do you know what? A draw is fine. I'm just, I'm disappointed that I didn't actually win that because we did so well to get in. Oh, that'd be a good picture. <laughs> good game. Very entertaining, but um, not the most comfortable. Let's go ahead and add Gakpo to the list because, yeah, that kind of convinced me how good he could be. Cody Gakpo. So he's 23, left winger. Oh, we don't even need to scout him. 83 rated. Wow. That is very good. He's, he's a lot of money, though. Okay, well, I've already added a few other players as well, including midfielders. We've got Gakpo. We've got DRB, 85 rated. And to be fair, I, I do feel like I need a left-footed player, potentially. I, I don't know. Uh, this is a player that's been linked with Arsenal a lot recently. I, I'm trying to get his name right. I think it's Mudrik, uh, a fellow Ukrainian to Zinchenko, of course. Looks like he could be a, a very good player. We've got Yuri Telemans, who is yet to sign a new contract. So he could be available as a free signing for next season. And also, it's the same with Douglas Luiz. He also only has six months remaining in January. So we could potentially sign one of these guys, or both if we really wanted to, on a free deal. Uh, what I need to do is scout Douglas Luiz, which we are doing. And we are scouting Mudrick as well. So uh, I'll make sure I'm getting his name right. But at the moment, I am very seriously interested in Gakpo. He could be the one. Time now to travel down south to the coast. We're in Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium, taking on a newly promoted side that could potentially let you score nine, but then win their next game. <laughs> They're a little bit of a, a weird side like that. Uh, I've got my main defenders back now with um, Saliba and Gabriel, so I'm hoping I'll do a little bit better defensively. I've got to say, holding was very suspect. Ben White's fine. Um, but yeah, I didn't didn't particularly enjoy having holding there. But it's it's all about just getting used to the game and understanding what's dangerous, you know, and making sure you cover that. And it's definitely when they start running at me. Here's Granite Xhaka. I'm going to hit it. Whoa! That would have been a great start. Oh! Martinelli's won that. I've got nowhere to go. Oh, that's good. Xhaka's in again. And Neto saves again. That was a terrible mistake from the Bournemouth player, just giving it straight to me. Corner coming in from Saka now. It's not a very good delivery. I, I need to get used to those set pieces as well. The, the new design of aiming where the ball goes and what kind of kick you're going with, whether it's going to be a chip or a, I don't know, a powerful strike. It's just, it's all a lot. <laughs> I need to get used to it. Nice from Thomas Partey there. 
Jesus into Erdegaard, into Xhaka. Xhaka is actually our most dangerous player right now. We've won a free kick. Oh, one of their players is laying down. That's so cool. All right, inside foot curled. Let's see what happens here. It's not bad. Oh, it's hit the post. That was not bad. Okay, as I said before, I need to get used to these new set pieces. But that, that wasn't bad. That was a good first effort. That is literally my first free, free kick I've taken in FIFA 23, including the beta that I played about 10 to 20 hours in. I didn't get a single free kick. So, um, yeah, it wasn't a bad attempt. Cross it. Oh, it's a good cross. How is Neto saving everything? He is having one of the best games I've seen so far for a goalkeeper. Unbelievable. And now I've conceded, haven't I? See how slow my defenders are. I'm holding sprint. Oh, Ramsdale. Thank you. That's crazy. It really is. You have to be predicting they're going to make that run three seconds before it happens because otherwise it's too late. Let's switch the play over to Saka. That is what Zinchenko does. And Saka's done really well. Oh, what a ball to Jesus as well. That is a beautifully worked goal. And there he is again with his phone call celebration. Get his mum on the phone. The pass from Zinchenko, man. I just, I just hoofed it. Just knock it over to Saka. And thankfully, he was strong enough against the, the Bournemouth left back. And then, you, you, I mean, what... What else do you expect if Jesus is through on goal like that? He was always going to score. 1-0. Oh, they're in again. Solanke. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Ramsdale again. Good save. He's a good keeper. 82 rated in FIFA 23. That is a mad rating. I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. And it's another save from Ramsdale. See, look. Anything Neto can do, we can do it, we can do it too. We've got a couple of minutes until the break. Let's try and get a second goal. The passing in this game is sick. I do. I really like the passing. Feels very smooth. And with a team like Arsenal that has a lot of good technical players, it's really fun. Oh, go on. <laughs> Granite Xhaka, though. I think he's probably the surprise package so far for me. Although he's really slow and quite difficult to use in that way. He's got such a powerful shot and his passing's brilliant as well. But that is going to be half time, I think. I don't... I don't guess we're going to get the ball back in time to have another chance. Maybe. Hang on. Try and close them down. No. No chance. Very good first half, though, because, well, we're winning. Simple as that. Go on, Martinelli over the top. Or oh, Jesus. That's fine. It could be two here. It is two. Neto beaten again. And he's on the phone to his mum again. <laughs> his mum's going to have to block his number soon. She's going to be getting... She's going to be feeling like she's being spammed. She won't get a minute silence when the football's on. Poor lady. What a ball from Erdegaard, though. It, it was for Martinelli, but hey, look. If it's going to Jesus, you could argue it's an even better player to receive the ball in that kind of area. It's 2-0, and it looks like we're getting three points here against Bournemouth. Oh, that's a hell of a pass. Oh, okay. They've just got one back. Hmm. Not ideal. I really wanted the clean sheet here. Fair play. It was a really nice pass to get him in. All right, we need to really be careful here. Oh, look at that. Jesus in for his hat trick, and he hits the post. <laughs> well, I think I put a little bit too much power on that one, so that's that's my fault. And now here come Bournemouth. The momentum's with them at the moment. Saliba maybe could have stepped in and got that, but he hasn't. The attack still is on here for Bournemouth. Trying to switch players sometimes just doesn't work. Where, where is Gabriel there? I mean. Oh, the stress of defending. And it's Brooks as well. I've got to say, Brooks, what an incredible story. Uh, I believe he's starting to play again now after his cancer diagnosis. So that's that's really great to see. And, and it's, it feels great saying that because I remember I loved Brooks back in a couple of FIFAs ago. I think I first signed him. Really good player in the game and... He's obviously a fantastic player in real life, so all the best to him. But, you know, maybe don't score another one against us. Things would be so different if Jesus got his hat trick, you know. Maybe he'll get it now. Or be a provider. Because Martinelli's in and I've gone to the near post and missed. Well, it's been saved. Okay, time to make some subs now myself. I don't know what I want, though. I mean, no one's playing badly. It's just me defending 
having a bad time defending. Um, I mean, I could get Sambi in there. I should probably bring on Vieira. Let's just do that. It, it's worked a few times now. Just move him up, up to Lamb and then have Erdegaard as Ram. <laughs> Let's go with that. And do I put Smith Rowe on? Do I put Enketia on? Uh, I think Jesus... He's he's had he's had his his time. I think he's doing very well. I think we're actually going to bring in Ketia on. I want to give him a go. He can he, he can score goals. Let's give this to Erdegaard, and then I'm just going to chip this in. Oh, what a ball, Saliba! No, you already scored against Bournemouth in real life. I wanted to get it as well. Here's Partey. Great run from him. Ball back post for Tommy Yasu, but he's not able to score. Erdegaard shoots, and it's Neto again. That's good play. Oh, and Ketty is in now. No way. <laughs> um, if Neto doesn't get man of the match right now, I will be very surprised. Unreal. Gabriel's there. It's going to be another corner. I think that kind of corner just isn't working. It's too close to the box. I think I'm going to swing it out a little bit more here. That's oh, not very good either, is it? Oh, how about that for a ball? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> It is absolutely gorgeous. And there is Enketia. I know so many of you would have been watching me make that sub. Like, what? You're taking off Jesus on, on a hat trick and bringing on Enketia. But I just, I, I need to give Enketia time. He will grow into a great player. That is evidence right there that he can score. Very tidy finish. Oh, look at the space. Four against two right here. Oh, it's not a good pass, though. Going to give it back to Fabio Vieira. Back into his best buddy, Martinelli. On his right foot. No, Mepham's just about got there. What the hell was that pass back? That had so much power on it. It was almost a shot. <laughs> a shot from his own defender. We are just counting down the seconds now. We should be coming away with three points here. Oh, look at this. Tommy Yasu's in. Look at him go. I've got to shoot. Oh, rebound for Martinelli. It is 4-2. And I've got some other subs coming on. Sambi and um, Emil Smith-Rowe coming on. But they're not going to have much time to get on the ball here because it's going to be full time here at the Bournemouth Vitality Stadium. 4-2. Three points, baby. Love that. I think when I get used to the defending and, and I think the, the main thing I've got to practice is actually backing off, beginning to sprint, just anticipating that they're going to be at full speed and making sure I'm kind of already at full speed as well. It's just a learning curve. You know, this is what the new FIFA is like. I've just got to get used to that. And that's what's taking some time. Uh, but I've just seen we've got Liverpool after this Carabao Cup game. So for sure, we're using the second team. And actually, I might, I might try the playable highlights again. Use the second team. It's a brand new feature. I've, I've got to use it. Let's see... If we can get a variety of chances, the, the, the few times I've used it so far, you know, in pre-season, for example, uh, it was throwing up the same kind of chances over and over again. So let's see what happens in this one. I've just realized I've got El Nenny and Cedric again, though, haven't I? OK, seven minutes in Norwich attack. All of my players seem to be forward and defenders are just not in shape at all. What is that? It's just completely randomized, isn't it? Here is Hernandez. Just win the ball. Oh, no. You've got to actually have possession. You can't just get a touch on it. Oh, this is really difficult to defend against. Oh, wow. I mean, <laughs> I think Matt Turner probably should be saving that, if I'm honest. Okay. And now I'm going to get... No, it's another attack for Norwich. It's a counter-attack. So you're telling me I haven't had a single highlight yet. 22 minutes in. What are my players up to in this game? Just sleeping, it seems. Right, I'm going to try and back off. Yeah, see, if you if you back off like that, jockey backwards. Another Norwich attack. What the hell? Honestly, if you just get ready to sprint earlier, it does seem to help. How far back are my defenders? Oh, wow, what a touch. Okay, can I please have an attack? Are you joking? 26 minutes in and I haven't even had a chance to, to pass the ball yet. Where's the fun in that? Corner coming in. Just... Just get the ball. There we go. All right. Surely now it's my turn to get the attack. Why is it still playing? Thank you. <laughs> You're joking. It's Norwich. 
There's no way I'm going a whole first half of football without even one attack that's playable. Here comes the free kick, though. Jump the wall. <sighs> Could have easily been 2-0. Norwich attack, 50 minutes in. Still nothing. And look at my defence. What is that? I mean, I'm not impressed. It's, it's really not very good, this, this new feature. I think what it is, right... It's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea, but the execution. Norwich counterattack. <laughs> um, I haven't had a single chance, apparently. And now Norwich could be making this 2 0 because holding so slow. There we go. Fair play to him. He's got back in time. Surely now. My God, guys. 60 minutes in, and we've got an opportunity. The pressure's on. I've got a score. Okay, come on. Into Enketia. Oh my god, it's too easy. Look at that. Come on, Enketia. <sighs> Move on. We've got a solo run. Um, what's this then? What is this? Is this a joke? I'm lost for words. Solo run. More like one of the defenders is just letting you go through. Ridiculous. Look look at the gap in midfield there. What is this? This doesn't happen in football. Absolutely crazy. Into Marquinhos. Oh, I should have scored there. I really should have scored. Are we going to get another chance here? We are. Free kick for Arsenal. Okay. Um, kind of want to pass this one short because shooting or crossing from here it's probably not going to work here we go to Ben White holding oh am I going to get there? Nope and that's that chance gone I it. sorry to be a bit negative guys but this is this is poor this is really just not very good we get a draw against Norwich Oh, okay. At least it's not a replay. We are going straight to penalties. Okay. Uh, we'll just go with the recommended lineup here based on stats. Penalties are easier this year, by the way. That is some penalty from Pookie. Wow. So this year, it's just about timing the circle there, and then you just aim. So I'm going bottom left. I timed it well. And then it's just... Oh, God. I need to put more power on it, but it's just... Let's hope the goalkeeper goes the wrong way, basically. Top right. Way Matt Turner. I'm going top right now this time. What? I pressed that on the green. I'm telling you I pressed that on the green. <laughs> Bottom right. Way Right. There must be just a very slight delay. There we go. That's good. I need to put more power on it again, but that's that's fine. I think you, you do actually need to do it just before you actually need to do it. Bottom left. Okay, fair play. Good penalty. Up to Erdegaard now. We're going bottom left. Bit more power. Beautiful. I mean, that's the perfect penalty. It is a lot easier. Save this and we are through. Top left. Oh, that's a good penalty from Hayden. Ex-Arsenal player, of course. Right, well, if Elneny scores this, it's done. I'm going down the middle. He's going to save it, isn't he? No. <laughs> We're through. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use playable highlights. Just great idea. Terrible execution. I'm sorry, A. I'm, I'm being a harsh critic, but it, it's not good. It's really, really badly done. Some of the opportunities you were given, that solo run is actually a joke. Okay, although the transfer window is shut, I have got players shortlisted to be loaned or sold, potentially. Only a couple of players. Hein is one of them that I would like to loan out. We've been offered a loan to buy. Okay, and it's from Genk. I like Hein. But he's 64 rated, 20 years old. It's just not going to happen, is it, unfortunately? So I might actually just accept this. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to delegate it. Um, one year loan. I mean, we might as well go with a short loan. I'll, I'll take 1.2 million, but I want at least 800,000. That's fine by me. These players don't deserve to be rotting on the bench. Just let them go on and play, you know. Nelson really wants to play. Your time will come. Will it, though? Is Reese Nelson ever going to make it at Arsenal? I don't know. But let's do the pre-match conference here. 
for the Liverpool match, is it at home? I think it is. Um... I need players in top form. I'm not going to say that. Let's not panic. I think I've got the second team selected right now. So that's why they're asking me that. Do you fancy your team's chances? Yes, I do. We'll focus on our performance. How can your team find consistency? It's about confidence. All right, let's get into the game. It is at home. And this is the home changing room, which I've got to say, you know, I've been in the Arsenal changing room twice and it doesn't look like this, but look, it's fine. It's a cool little cut scene. There's the Liverpool players. It's like this is the FA Cup final or something. What's going on, boys? Why are you wearing suits to the game? <laughs> it's a cool little cut scene. You've got to give it to EA, but maybe reserve that for finals, semi-finals at least, not just a very early Premier League game, which doesn't, doesn't have too much riding on it. But anyway, the Liverpool side, I'm sure, is going to be very good. They've got Nunes up front. Um, they've got, obviously, Diaz and Salah on the wings. Trent's at right back. They've got Fabinho. He's a nightmare. I always concede to Fabinho. And straight away, he's taking my players out. He means business today. I've just noticed there's no Van Dijk. That's good for me. Martinelli with the cross. Blocked out for a corner. They don't have Alisson in goal either. Okay, it's a bit of a weird one. It's another poor corner. Go on, Saka. Lovely. Still going here. Matip steps in, though. So far, this has been a pretty good game. We're, we're actually controlling the tempo and we're keeping the ball nicely, but I know it can change very quickly against a top side like Liverpool. Here comes Salah. You do not want to let him in behind, that's for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm learning, guys. I am learning. Go on, Martinelli. Yes, in behind Trent. Isn't the most defensive fullback. Come on, Martinelli. There's no one in the box. Go on. Saka! Oh, Saka scored a header! It's not every day I'm going to say that. Well done, Saka. He gets in the box. I think if Van Dijk's there, though, maybe that doesn't happen. Just saying. You know, Van Dijk is that good. He is. Matip, though, he's not a bad defender. How is Matip not clearing this one out? He's like seven foot. <laughs> Robertson lost his man. I mean, Saka's just walked in and scored. So we'll take it. Love that. Liverpool 1-0 down and deservedly so. We've been the better side and that's it. He's through. You can't do anything about that. You just have to hope your keeper saves it like Ramsdale has. Jesus. You, you can't stop that. Oh, Saka's a joke. What a ball. Martinelli. 2-0! against Liverpool I know they're struggling this season but come on this is too easy Saka just with a perfect pass over to Martinelli oh I love it man I love this team I just wish they were all face scanned it, it drives me mental it really does such a shame they haven't been able to do that it's because they're in partnership with Konami Arsenal ha don't have any reason to work with EA whatsoever and EA won't do face scans, even though they've just scanned all the, the female players for Arsenal. None of the men's team got new scans this year, which is a real shame, but maybe in the future at some point. But anyway, look, let's just focus on the positives. We are 2-0 up and coasting against a very, very good team. Erdegaard could be in here. Up against Joe Gomez, that was pretty nicely defended. Fair play. Closing him down, though. Oh, I've taken Adrian out. It's going to be a yellow card for sure. It is going to be a free kick for Liverpool here. Salah's going to take it. He goes for the shot from there. Oh, my God. What a waste. I know Salah can be a bit greedy sometimes, but that that's that's crazy. Why would he do that? Now here's Martinelli. Up to Jesus. To Erdegaard. Look at the amount of players we've got forward, but it's a great tackle. I don't know where Liverpool have been in this entire first half, but now... They are starting to uh, to be a little bit harder to get through. They're defending a lot better. And they are seemingly doing quite well going forward at times as well. We've got Robertson in behind Tomiyasu here. Try and block the cross. Ooh, okay. Kind of worked. Wait, is the ref blown for half time there? No, it is a corner. Van Dijk is on the bench, by the way. He was just talking to Klopp there. Is he going to come on for the second half? I think he should be. Oh! And Matip puts one over there. <laughs> that would have been a very good time for Liverpool to score. But we will be going in at the break. 2-0 up. Oh, Salah's in here. Oh, good save from Ramsdale once again. 
Liverpool really starting to get in this. They might score. They could score any minute now. Saka with a dangerous header. That was rubbish, but we're good. Erdegaard can carry this one out. Jesus is through the middle. This could be it. I could wrap the game up here against Liverpool. Come on, Jesus. Oh, completely ruined it. Saka. Nope. <laughs> I've wasted a huge opportunity there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, and now Salah's in behind Zinchenko. There's no chance he's catching up, right? Oh, he almost did. Oh, it's just so slow to get back up to full speed again. The players just feel so heavy when they're running. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, and there's the uh, the second half goal. It was always coming. Luis Diaz. This could get a little bit messy. If I'm not careful, they will get another one and potentially another one. I don't want to jinx it, though. So let's just, let's just chill. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, Ramsdale again. Probably time to make some changes. I'm going to bring in Ben White on the right side. I'm going to have... Uh, see, this is this is a big problem. I don't I don't feel that confident having Lukonga in, but I'm going to go for it. Xhaka could probably do with a little bit of a rest here. And let's go Tierney for Erdegaard. Swap with Zinchenko. I love Zinchenko. The fact that you can just throw him in midfield. Lukonga's basically going to be playing as an attacking. Oh, it's not it's not a good idea, is it? Okay, we go Vieira instead of Zinchenko, and we swap them around. Okay. That way, it's not too much of a change, tactics-wise. We still have very similar players in each position, but Fabio Vieira is coming on, and he will score our third goal that will be enough to win the game. Okay, you heard it here first. I'm not going to concede another one, because Sambi's on the pitch now, and he's breaking up everything. Look at him go. Chasing them down. Lovely. This is, this is from a corner. They're all the way back here. This is good. Go on. Put it through. Nice. Martinelli can run onto that. Joe Gomez is quick, though. This is huge. Come on. What a ball. Vieira. Ah! It actually almost happened. It really almost did. 15 minutes to go. I can still make a few more changes, but honestly, I'm quite happy with this at the moment. Over to Saka. I'm going to go for it. Come on, Saka. What is that? I did not keep sprinting. I literally finesse shot way before he took that next touch. I swear if I don't win this now, <laughs> I'm not going to be pleased. Oh, I can't stop that. I can't stop that. Oh, <laughs> I hate this defending. I really do. And it had to be Henderson, didn't it? It's just, oh, painful. Okay, we're just going to go again. Let's, let's have a look at the replay, though. It's just so quick. And my defenders don't mark them that tightly, you know. And, oh, okay, I'm just making excuses. I'm just bad at defending. We've got about 10 minutes left. We can do this. Come on. Fair play to Sambi, by the way. He's been great since he's come on. Here is Jesus. This is good play. Oh, Martinelli. <laughs> and there it is. Is that the winner? It could be. And I think that might be the thumbnail. Martinelli to the rescue. I mean, it's not over yet. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I think we should probably just skip this replay. Let's not just let's not get carried away because we've still got at least four or five minutes of defending to go here. But um, yeah, the substitutions have made an impact. Let's just hold on for the win here. I don't even know where we're going to be on in the table if we hold on it, to this win. I'm guessing we'll be in the top four, which would be very nice indeed. And I've just given them the ball there. Got it back again. Given it away again. Give me, they've given it back again. I've given it back. <laughs> Who wants it? Does anyone want the ball? Who actually wants to keep the ball for more than a few seconds? Clearly not Liverpool. That is it, though. We've done it. Oh, jeez. Let's have a look at the table because that was such a stressful game. I think we deserve to be in the top four again now. Oh, some big results there. I saw Spurs have beaten United at Old Trafford. But what does it mean? Let's get into the league table here. Premier League. We're in third. We've scored 18 goals. Wow, we are the top scorers in the league. 
Chelsea are starting to push up the table now. Everton are in fourth. Wow. So Spurs and City have not lost a single game. We've obviously only lost one, but we've conceded 10 goals. We know the issue, guys, and don't don't worry. I'm perfectly okay with it. I know I'm going to get bullied for it in the comments. <laughs> My defending is shocking, but I'm going to get better at it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get better at it. We're scoring a lot of goals, so it's not all bad. But in the next episode, we have... Who are we playing against next? Zurich, I think that was. Um... Okay, where is the calendar? <laughs> I need to find where the calendar is now. There it is. It's in office. So we have Zurich and then we're going into Palace away, West Ham away. Do you know what? October doesn't look too bad, does it? So in the next episode, we'll start making our way through October and I will see you for that episode tomorrow.